Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have for you six dark or brown wigs that I'm going to be wearing this summer. The first one I have on is the True. Now I haven't reviewed this wig yet, but I'm going to do it probably tomorrow. But this is the True in Caramel Kiss, one of my favorite dark colors is Caramel Kiss. I really like this one. I think it's a really cute wig. It's a little on the short side, but it's not bad. It's cute as it can be. There's the profile. Very pretty. And as I turn around, you can see the back. See how pretty that back is. And then the front. So, very, very pretty. Very, very cute little true wig by Aesthetica in the color Caramel Kiss. I really like this color and I really like this wig. This is very, very cute. I really like it. So anyway, I think I've said it enough. I really like this, this particular wig. All right, we're going to put her away and I'm going to go on to my next dark wig, which is the Beauty Spot for summer. This one's a nice one for summer. It's called the Beauty Spot by Gabor. Let me get it on and let me get it going for you. Cute wig, really is. I need the tabs in place. There we go. Push it back on the hairline. This is called the Beauty Spot. Really cute wig. It's got a lot of permatease right up here on top. You can handle that if it's too much for you. You can always smush it down a bit or you can uh, use water, hairspray, something like that, and that'll work. This is in the color SS Hazelnut. So this is one of my dark wigs. Cute little wig for summer. Very, very... Um, easy to wear. Does come down nicely in the back for you for a nice little long hairline. And you can see how cute this is. I'm going to turn around the back and you can see how pretty this wig is. SS Hazelnut is the color. So it's rooted a little bit. The SS means it's rooted some. So this is an adorable little hairstyle for summer for my dark hair days. And I do have some of those. I do wear dark wigs on occasion in the summer. Okay, now the next one is the Aesthetica Diana in Caramel Kiss. Really love that Caramel Kiss color. There's several here that have that same color because I really like it. It's got that gold in it that I think makes it wearing it so nice. And it comes down pretty long in the back. This is kind of a sister style. The Diana and the Rebecca are both sister styles to the soft romance. And this is an Aesthetica wig, Diana in Caramel Kiss. Very cute. Very pretty. You can see how it is reminiscent of the Soft Romance by Eva Gabor. It's got kind of a wavy look in the back. Very pretty. Very easy to wear. Um, the bangs come down nicely. I don't have a need to trim them, but it might be different on your forehead. Every forehead is different. Yours may not be three inches. Yours may be two inches. Some foreheads are longer, other some are shorter, some are just right in between. I don't know, mine's three inches. So there you go, you can judge. And it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful wig. I really like this one, the Diana. Beautiful wig, easy, easy to wear. Um, and Caramel Kiss. So Aesthetica puts the number or the name of the color, but not the name of the wig. So once again, 
You know, I really like that when they put the name of the wig in, into it. Excuse my hair. It's just not going to stay down. All right. The next one is a Renee of Paris. And this is the Bailey. Again, I think. This is iced mocha. Iced mocha. Now the Bailey is one I've worn before, but I've got one in blonde and I've got this dark one. I think this is the iced mocha and it is adorable. Great for summer because you can pull it back into a pony if you like. There we go. I moved my box of scrunchies because my granddaughter had a little accident yesterday with her foot. I had to help her. My first aid box is right there. So I keep my first aid box in the bathroom. <laughs> so there it is. You can always use a ponytail. Of course, this is a little piece got away, but you, you understand what I mean. You can always use a ponytail with this particular hair if you like. And I think it would make a great um, summertime ponytail. But you can also just wear it down like this if you like. Beautiful, beautiful hairdo. The Bailey. Look at that pretty profile, see? It comes and sort of frames your face. Really nicely done. It, it's shoulder length. Really cute. So, this is the Bailey in Iced Mocha by Renee of Paris. So we're going to take this one off. This is a nice one. I really like this one. Pretty, pretty wig. I had this one on a head. All of these ones are on a head here. And I don't want to get this lost. The next one is The Gratitude by Eva Gabor, and this one is in Brown Blonde. The Gratitude by Eva Gabor in Brown Blonde. Now this is a little bit more of a fuller wig, as I recall. Maybe not too bad. The bangs go to the side like that. I'm going to get my ear tabs in place. This is the gratitude. Really a cute, cute hairdo. Very great for summer. Look at that. Gorgeous little hairstyle. And it just goes to the side in a perfect manner. It does not bother me at all. This is probably five, five and a half inch bangs that go and they're perfectly done to where they do not bother. They just do not. Now I am quickly styling this, not taking a lot of time. So you can see it takes no time to style these wigs. Absolutely no time. And this one is a cutie. It looks so pretty with this Pretty stylish, going to the side look. Very, very pretty. And it comes down, and a pretty way to wear this is back here, behind your ear like that is very, very pretty and stylish. So that just the bottom part of your ear shows. Pretty, pretty stylish. Wear some pretty earrings with it. Gorgeous, gorgeous for summer. Really cute for summer. I really like this particular wig. This is The Gratitude by um, Eva Gabor in Brown Blonde. It's a dark wig. Now that was all of those. The last one, I think. Yep, this is the last one. This is 
the Jessica. This one is the Jessica by Aesthetica in R826H or golden brown with blonde highlights. Again, this is a curly wig, but it's, I started to say again, again, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Aesthetica would kindly name their colors because most of the things that they put down for colors don't mean much. And it's hard to know if you ask me. I don't relate to numbers. Numbers don't mean much to me. But if you give me a nice name, I can remember it like root beer float. And I can know what that means. So here we have a curly, cute, dark wig, brown with blonde highlights, golden brown with blonde highlights. That's what it's called. And it's RH8 dash 26H. And that's what we have here. This is the Jessica. Now the Jessica can absolutely, it's a longer wig and it can absolutely be used as a pony. You can absolutely do that. It makes a cute little pony, if I've got it right. Very, very cute. Very, very easy to style. Just adorable. And you can have some tendrils hanging down there if you like. So that's a cute way to wear the Jessica. And you can just wear it down with all of the curls if you want to. Very, very cute. Very, very great way to wear it. You can also put it up and give it a twist for an updo. If I had a I usually have a clip around, but I don't seem to find my clip. I've got this purple one, so how about we use that one? We'll see whether this one will hold. It's got a lot of hair. So there's the updo. You can do cute as it can be. Very realistic looking and adorable in an updo just like that so this is the only clip i could find i need the bigger one. Oh, here it is sitting right here in front of me there's my bigger clip so let's see if that one works i'm just curious if it works any better because these curls are really thick and they make it hard well it's about the same it feels about the same. But you can see how cute that is. Wearing it up, you just need a clip, a larger clip. And these are my large clips that I use on my wigs. This one right here and that one. This one is just a little purple one that I got years ago and it has this little net, fancy net around it, which is cute to wear. So. You have your own, you can collect your own and do different things with your hair too. So this is the Jessica by Aesthetica and this is in golden brown with blonde highlights. It's the same, pretty much the same as the Caramel Kiss, I would say. Both are by Aesthetica. But this one here is called Golden Brown with Blonde Highlights. I guess it doesn't have quite as many of the blonde highlights. Not sure. But this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. Gorgeous wig. Very, very pretty and easy to wear. The bangs are perfect on this thing. You don't have to do a thing to them. At least I haven't. So anyways, that's where we are. Now, I want to talk to you 
about something else as soon as I find my note. My note, there it is. There it is. All right, now then. I wanted to talk to you about moms again. Today is Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. And we're talking about moms because Mother's Day is coming up really soon. So, Mother's Day, all of our mothers bring us into the world. They provide for us, they raise us, they teach us, they discipline us, and they love us. Jochebed, if you remember her from the Bible, was the mother of Moses. And she went against Pharaoh's decree, and she put Moses into the water to save her baby. The Pharaoh's daughter was a mother. She pulled him out of the water to save him, and then she raised him. Mary believed in her son's miraculous abilities, Mary, the mother of Jesus, even before she knew about them, and asked him to help with a very embarrassed wedding mother and father of the bride because they had run out of wine. And in those days, wine was an important part of the ceremony. Moms are special. Jesus is still Lord. And I pray that you trust in him today. Trust in him today because he is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no way other to get to the Father but through Jesus. And that's where we want to be in the presence of the Father. So that's my story for today. And I will see you tomorrow.